hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing this set right here i call it the galaxy because it looks like the galaxy emoji um so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what i use so far um i adhered my tips already with base coat and i already um put my peel off method on which is what I'm showing you. I used foil glue. I was just curing in the lamp from adding the base coat because I added a layer of base coat onto the whole nail and the tips after I adhered them. Um, and now I'm just showing you guys what colors I'm going to be using. I'm using this Madame Glam. Blue. It's a cat. It's from their cat eye collection. I will link that down below because I do have a coat for you guys. Um, I forgot what this one is called. I will link it in the description. And I'm just going to do one coat on all of the nails first and then cure it in the lamp. I'm not going to do the cat eye yet until I do a second layer. So finished with the first layer, now I'm curing in the lamp. I did cure for 30 seconds and then I added another layer. I did that part off camera. So now I'm just using the cat eye magnet to just get the glitter in the cat eye to just go where I want it to go. Um, I wanted it to look like kind of like a shooting star or like, like a galaxy full of stars. So that's what I was going for. Um, I will... I did get this idea from somewhere, but it looked different. I have to find it. Oh my gosh. When I find it, I'm going to post it in my community tab and give that person their credit because they're the ones that kind of inspired me. So now that I kind of figured out how I want it to be, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and zoom it in afterwards. But um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn that bell on so you won't miss the next time I post a new video. If you are new, hey boo, welcome to the channel. So here's what we came up with. Um, I'm just making my finishing touches and then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. How have I only used this cat eye one time in my life? Because these are already giving but as soon as the ombre is finished I did do two nails off camera because I was trying to figure out what color was going to match so um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and ombre the rest of them um, this part is pretty self-explanatory but ombre is really like tedious like you have to really make sure you have it the way you want it to be because your ombre could be short it could be longer like distributed more onto the nail but i kind of wanted more of the color to show instead of the uh, like the nude if that makes sense so i am just going to where i want it to go you guys can pick where you guys want it to go if you recreate this So I did pick up a trick with the poly gel because with acrylic, I feel like it's way more easier to ombre. But so basically how I ombre with poly gel, I kind of make sure most of it is like closer to the cuticle area. And then I try to make it into a straight line first with more of the product closer to the cuticle area, like I just said. But making sure it's not too much because you don't want the ombre to be too thin so um i'm showing you guys like i do push it back and then i push it forward to blend it out 
and then you'll see me wipe like right there <laughs> and then I'm just gonna keep using my brush like wetting my brush because when you wet the brush so right here when I have to use this poly gel this Gershon poly gel I have to use um rubbing alcohol so for this part I did use rubbing alcohol um they don't even sell this kit anymore so it doesn't matter anyway but um I wet my brush a lot with this color so that it's easier for it to like blend out because when the alcohol dries it kind of makes it very stiff so I wet it especially when I get closer to where the ombre is getting thinner so that it's easier for it to blend out so I finally got it to how I want it to be um when you're doing ombre you just want to take your time because I took about this clip was originally 14 minutes long I just had to cut it down so it took me 14 minutes to blend out my ombre to get it to exactly how I want it to be so take your time do not rush because ombre is really like really hard not hard but it's like something you really have to concentrate on to get the perfect ombre and I still don't feel like I got the perfect ombre even doing it after for 14 minutes so as you guys can see i did already finish the ombre off camera um i am going to just encapsulate these nails with some clear poly gel um the brand that i use is rosalind and for this i am going to use base coat because base coat makes it shinier it makes it more clear um way better than using slip solution or alcohol because when you put alcohol or anything that is that has alcohol in it onto like clear it makes it very cloudy um well just for me the stuff that i use i don't know it just it gets so cloudy and i hate it it does not look right to me so i use base coat <laughs> so any excess product i just make sure it's all the way at the tip of the nail and then i scrape it off with the brush um, now i'm just going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds Thank you. 
so I went ahead and finished curing. This is what they're looking like. Um, I am wiping off with a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol because um, there is a sticky tacky layer. If you guys are new to poly gel, there's a sticky tacky layer that you should wipe off before you file because if not, it will clog your, your hand file, your e-file, whatever bit you use, it will clog it. So I don't know if you guys can tell but my thumbnail is way shorter than the rest of the nails because that nail just looked crazy that long. But now I'm going in with my Melody Susie Atina, I think that's what it's called, um, e-file. I will link that down below and I think I have a code for it but if I don't I will try to get one. And I'm just going to be like alternating between the e-file and this 100 by 180 grit hand file. So I just want to make sure my nails are completely crisp because they're, they are curved and it's a little bit harder to get them crispy when they're curved. So I am going to be alternating back and forth. So I did go ahead and finish filing off camera. Now I am just going to go ahead and get a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol and clean off my nails. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add some top coat and I'm just going to use the top coat as the um, rhinestone glue. So I'm just adding the layer of top coat first and then I'm just going to go ahead and place the stones where I want them to be. Um, I tried to make them look like a galaxy but... At first they looked weird, but then I didn't realize that it looked like one of the emojis until way after the fact. So, um, I will add the emoji somewhere that I'm talking about. So now I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this process. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn that bell on. If you are new, hey boo, welcome to the channel. Please share this video to someone who might like it. And just stay tuned for those angles.
So I went ahead and finished off camera. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil because, yeah, those, those things was crusty. And then I'm going to give you guys those angles because it wouldn't be a Shea Nailed It video without those angles. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this set down below. Um, i seen someone ask for a tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something new. And I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend because um, I'm not posting anymore after today until Monday or Tuesday. So be on the lookout for the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn that bell on so you won't miss the next time I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.